seems like a lot of restaurants in California, and it's just not going to be fast food restaurants are closing, but even some of like the big chains are closing down. We're seeing a combination of like Red Lobster filing for bankruptcy, Rubio's, it's mid-sized chain over there. And then, of course, you got like franchises like McDonald's and Wendy's. They're all suffering from this $20 minimum wage hike. And not to mention the crime rate of San Francisco, San Diego, and the rest of California is absolutely through the roof. Right now, the restaurant industry in California is one of the worst things to do. California, despite having a nationwide population growth and a massive rise in GDP growth, we're seeing California having like very, very slow growth in terms of money and GDP and a decreasing population? What in the world is going on here? Check this out. Why are so many of these San Diego restaurants, for example, closing? San Diego is one of the biggest cities in California. Right now, Rubio's closing 48 stores in California. Red Lobster is literally filing for bankruptcy. We are seeing many restaurants closing in California. Now, experts say it's a nationwide trend, but a lot of people are saying that California's inflation is just through the roof. It's the most expensive state to buy groceries, for example. Oil prices are sky high, and the $20 fast food minimum wage is causing a massive increase in prices. Now, many of these stores are closing down, and some of these stores are straight up filing for bankruptcy. Then you have this with Starbucks closing seven San Francisco stores. Now, here's the thing about this whole entire San Francisco situation. Have you ever been there before the pandemic? It was actually pretty decent. It's really not that bad. You know, a lot of tech workers sure had like the tendering district, which is really bad. But San Francisco before the pandemic goes, all right, a lot of tech guys, a lot of tourists, rising real estate prices and the pandemic hits. Everyone started just working at home. And when everyone came back to downtown, they started noticing San Francisco truly deteriorated, not to mention really absurd laws that makes doing business in San Francisco just so difficult. And there's high taxes. And if there's tents in front of a store, you can't move them. And stores are closing down in mass. Real estate prices in San Francisco basically collapsed. And of course, now you got seven San Francisco Starbucks closing. When was the last time you saw a Starbucks closing down? Starbucks, it's decent, you know, but it's not like the best coffee shop. And also, coffees are very expensive. But I could tell you one thing. I've never seen Starbucks close in like a decent, okay city. They always get really good business. So why did San Francisco stores close? It's pretty simple. San Francisco and many other California downtowns Looks like they just gave up. In San Francisco, drug addicts opening are doing fentanyl. Open air drug markets are everywhere. It used to be really uh, concentrated in the Tinder district, but now it's flowing freely. It's in like Knob Hill, downtown, the entire length of Market Street. It's going to Civic Center. You walk out of the Twitter headquarters and uh, you'll probably be seeing tents and people doing drugs and people sprout out everywhere. You have like feces and urine on the floor trash everywhere and this guy on x says that he's been here for six months and still not used to this it's absolutely appalling all government leaders responsible for this should be ashamed and fired and if no government leader can solve this then it's time to just hit the reset button this is san francisco and by the way these couple pictures are pretty interesting because this one right here on the left is literally called the oak san francisco before the pandemic they were building this condo project and we're trying to sell one bedrooms for over eight hundred thousand dollars and you're literally paying 800 grand for a one bedroom condo and your first floor looks like some third world country, people pass on the streets, people just shooting up drugs and that's what it looks like. And can you guess if they sold any units? No, they sold zero units. And the image on the right is also kind of close to Market Street. This is San Francisco guys, this is what it looks like and you kind of see why some of these restaurants are just straight up closing down. Starbucks is leaving. They don't want to be here. They're closing several of the San Francisco locations. There's even potential massive closures over the, the Oakland section. And several other California cities are experiencing an exodus of stores. Check this out. Multiple Oakland Taco Bell locations are closed dining room options due to safety issues. Now, why did Oakland close Taco Bell location? It's pretty dangerous in Oakland. Some of the big companies in downtown Oakland, like Pfizer headquarters, if you want to go to your car, they'll give you a security guard to escort you there. And there's even companies like Kaiser in downtown Oakland telling their employees just to not eat anymore. Just get takeout, DoorDash, uh, but, don't, but don't go outside and eat. That's what they're talking about. The Taco Bell locations are constantly getting robbed, and they don't just rob the cash register. They rob every single one of those customers. You know, if you ever go to the Taco Bell dining location in Oakland, it's playing like you're, you're gambling right there. Because there's a high chance that somebody comes in and robs everyone. And this is why they've closed all dining room options. 
because it's so unsafe. And you also have several big corporations like Blaze Pizza moving the headquarters from California to Atlanta. They're kind of done with this. Atlanta has an enormous amount of growth compared to the San Francisco and the Los Angeles cities. Blaze Pizza is done. They're going to other places and several other businesses and companies have followed suits. California exodus is real, guys. People are going to more business-friendly states. 53 headquarters have left San Francisco and that's just one city alone. The whole entire state of California, thousands of companies, restaurants, and headquarters have left for places like Nevada, Texas, Florida, pro-business states with low taxes, but you get so many amazing amenities compared to California, which you pay a lot of taxes and you get nothing in return. This is why we're seeing record bankruptcies, record closures, Starbucks closing down, and also tech workers and people who live in San Francisco shocked at the fact that this is what America's tech city looks like, some third world country. Let's see what happens next. See you later.